Okay, drivers behind your lines. In three, two, one, go! We've got all robots moving forward here in Autonomous. Tater's going to pick up a cone, drive up across the charge station, try to balance, and they're unfortunately just short on the blue side, 36-47 with that last second balance. Looks like we have two red robots that are taking a bit of a rest here on the field between 35-62 and the New Hawks. Robots not responding. Our Red Alliance is a one tater band over here. And we have Livewire back, back in action. Over on the blue side, Vern picking up cubes. 115 returning them as well. Lots of blue cubes going to be charged in the charge station with all three red robots moving. 21-22 placing a cube in the hybrid node. We have almost two links on the blue side with a minute and a half left. 35-62 looking across the field, running into their alliance partner Taters who accidentally almost got two cubes going on. Taters run into Vern who is also returning from the alliance the, rather, the human player substation. Red with a cube score. That is one link on the field. 76-34 once again. Not quite responding for them, but they are working very diligently to make sure they have it. That is your 50 seconds, 5-0 seconds left in the match as 115 grabs the cube, running into Taters on their way. Taters using their claw mechanism to drop the cube in the ground level. Blue up 124 to 45. 127 to 45 with six links. Look at that full grid on blue. That was your 30 second warning. Red trying to get those ever important charge station points. There's an entire ranking point that comes from that. We are balanced on red and on blue. This is a two by two to end our day in match 62. With five seconds left, both alliances are docked and engaged. Alliance with a higher score of, one of the highest scores we've seen today, 157 to 72. 117 of those points were from the grid. That is four ranking points for the Blue Alliance.